Vincent Edward Martinez has taken a bold step to come forward with allegations against senior police officers whom he claims are involved in transnational drug trafficking activities. The whistleblower called a press conference on Tuesday during which he confidently made assertions that a number of high-ranking policemen continue to facilitate the movement of narcotics through the country. We are constrained from calling their names because Martinez is yet to provide factual evidence that would incriminate any of the persons he has identified. Nonetheless, we sought a reaction from Commissioner of Police Chester Williams on what has been divulged in the media. If it is that he have any evidence against senior officers in police, then present the evidence to me and then we'll see where we go from there. In the absence of that, then there's nothing I can do. It is a similar position taken by Minister of State Elodie Aragon Jr., who oversees the day-to-day -day operations of the Belize Police Department. Himself a former Deputy Commissioner, Aragon openly questions Martinez's integrity. Well, anybody can make allegations, right? It is about having credible information. The police only acts on information that is there. And remember, these things are investigation. When you are dealing with, with um, what you call drug trafficking, etc., there's a lot of things that has to be done in terms of ensuring that you, the investigation that you carry out is proper and, and, and credible. But while Martinez has called out these officers by name, none of whom we have been able to identify publicly for want of actual evidence against them, he says that he is simply awaiting a rebuttal from the department to proceed with disclosing proof. I want to give them a fair chance to respond to my allegations and then I will return with what I have. Because at the end of the day, I am no bully. I'm not here to bully nobody into nothing. You understand me? The man accuse you, wait for the response. I will school you now. You understand me? After your response, then, as I said, I'm inviting anybody from the ministry or from the police department to sit in the next press conference. I prefer throw stones at somebody direct. According to the whistleblower, he already has in place a backup plan in the event that something should happen to him for coming forward with the damning allegations. I don't do nothing without a contingency plan, you know. The minute I walk out there and was straight away shot catch me or you hear, oh, I'm laying at the wrong place at the wrong time and they had a shoot out and bang, the poor man get it. Then better know something, the minute the poor man get it, I have people that will disseminate everything out there because me not dead for no for ju ju just just for accusation. If you want to kill me, somebody going down with me, I want to damage somebody's life somewhere in the process. That is, that is being real. You're prepared to die? I, no, this? no, listen to me. I'm not saying I'm prepared to die, you know, because nobody is prepared to die. Let, let, let's be real. Mm -hmm. But if it reached to that point where what I am saying or what I am doing, the repercussions of it, that somebody will take and stray away, shut out of me, I will take the chance. Reporting for News 5, I am Isana Kayatano.